Hey guys, uh, making another quick video here, uh, hopefully shorter than last one. I did not expect that I would be uh, doing another uh, dating uh, dating advice video, uh, a video about relationships, but there's been a topic that's been trending right now um, about Jonathan Owens uh, and Simone Biles and um, Jonathan Owens saying that men are the catch. They're the catch, and it's it's true. As much as uh, some people don't want to view it that way, uh, that's the way things have to be. Uh, that mindset has to be there uh, for most men, um, and that mindset has to be there for most women in order for uh, relationships to actually work. And uh, I want to get into some of that in this uh, live stream uh, video um, so people can understand, like, where Jonathan's coming at with this mindset and uh, why why it makes sense. Um, so men are the catch, okay? Um, this, uh, you know, a woman needs to look up to her man and be proud to have him or the relationship is doomed to fail at some point. Um, this goes back to uh, hypergamy, a uh, woman's female hypergamy. Uh, a woman's need because uh, of evolution and just the way things are in nature, uh, having, you know, to give birth to kids and needing protection while she's pregnant and needing uh, the bigger, better man to go out there and acquire resources, acquire food and keep her protected and keep her kids protected. She needs to find the best guy for that. Uh, and because women have been um, over the course of nature and throughout history looking for the, the best mate uh, that can do that, um, if they're not with a guy who is the best guy for her, for her offspring, then she's going to go find another guy. She's going to find another guy who can actually do that for her and um, be the best man. Be the best catch. Be the prize. Um, so with that being said, uh, the way things normally go, and this is, this is my opinion, but it seems to always work out this way. If, if you, you know, take, you know, some people might want to disagree, but I'm just giving my opinion. Uh, women choose who get to have sex. Okay. But, but men choose who get to have a relationship i've seen a lot of men try to convince women to have sex uh and the women are the ones that get to decide if that's going to happen or not for whatever reason uh but once they have sex now the power comes back the power dynamic comes back towards the men because now the woman just doesn't want to be used for sex she just didn't want to be you know uh, a one night stand or whatever, maybe, maybe she's okay with that. But if she really likes the guy and she views the guy as the prize, as the catch, then she's going to want more than just sex. She's going to want a relationship. She's going to want someone to bear her offspring, her children. So she needs the best guy. Okay. And now the man, he then gets to choose, well, was this a one night stand? Was this a fling? Or do I want to be her her boyfriend? And now the woman has to convince the man that she is good enough to be his girlfriend. Um, and then taking it a step further after that, then the woman is now in a, a relationship as the girlfriend, but now the man is still trying to figure out, do I really want this girl to be my wife? Do I really want to take those vows? Do I see myself being with her forever like that? Or can I find another girlfriend? Um, so, you know, with that being said, um, the man has to choose to be in a relationship because if he's not going to choose to be in a relationship, then you're not even going to get to be in a relationship with the man that, that you like. Um, so with all that said, you know, um, 
if a woman let me let me run this back um if a woman doesn't view the man as a catch the woman is a fan of another guy let's say that a woman is actually a fan girl of a particular celebrity that's a problem for most men because that means that your girl and I know some people have like celebrity crushes. Your girl is probably will most likely 99% will cheat on you with that celebrity, with that uh, person that she's a fan of. That's why uh, men have to pay attention to uh, who the girls really like and who they're fans of because um, uh, if she really is a fan of that particular guy, then there's most likely a chance that. Um, if she ever sees that celebrity, that she would, she would, she would try to take her shot and and see if she can. Um, she might not want to cheat, but she might end up cheating on you because she spent uh, an intimate time with her her favorite man in the world. Because it's not you, because you're not the catch. You know, she's a fan girl of a uh, of a celebrity, and it, it doesn't even have to be the celebrity. It could be uh, another uh, another guy that looks like the celebrity, and then she cheats she cheats on you with him. Could be uh, could be a guy that sings like the celebrity or talks like the celebrity, uh, reminds her of the celebrity, and if she's a fangirl of that guy, uh, you know, your woman, your, your girl just cheated on you, and now the the, the relationship is now eh, on the rocks. It's uh, you know about to fail. Like I said, it's gonna do it's gonna be doomed to fail at some point if she doesn't view you as a catch. So. For Jonathan Owens to have this uh, mindset of, uh, that he is the catch, he should have that mindset, and he should conduct his uh, relationships accordingly to that mindset. And so far, it's worked out well enough for him to be married to Simone Biles. So um, good for him. And she also uh, has that mindset too, um, sort of, um, because she. She was, according to him, she 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 d she DM'd him first uh, in that podcast that they were in. She said that she reached out to him first, uh, liked him, and knew what she wanted, and she she got it. Like she was, she even said in the podcast, "I knew what I wanted, and I went for it." Okay, that's how uh, most uh, successful relationships should start. Is the woman's like, I want that guy, that guy. No, no, not those guys. No, not them, not them, that guy, that guy, that guy, him, him. That's the guy. And um, I mean, if it's if it's that powerful, then it's has potential to be a successful relationship leading towards marriage. Um, you do not want your girl to um, not think of you as the catch or the prize because she will find another guy um, who is uh, better than you, makes more money than you, better looking than you, taller than you, whatever, whatever the case might be. It goes back to their biology um, and them seeking the better mate so that um, they can be able to survive in this world. Um, our world now has created things where survivorship is not really that important. Um, you can still go to the supermarket and find food, but you know, if the, the world ever came to an end, you want to be with the best guy, you know, and, and we have like a doomsday something, you know, bombs blow up, nuclear bombs or whatever. And uh, we're, we're back to uh, scourging for food again. You want to make sure your guy can go out there and get that food and get and, and protect yourself from like, all the guys who are trying to take advantage of, of you and, and your children, you want the best guy. Um, so I think some people should still take a, in this consideration that women want the best man for them. Um, that's how it should be. And I think that's what Jonathan Owens was trying to allude to. You know, he said in his own words, uh, and it's good that he has that mindset because that, that's, that shows some promise uh, that he knows what he's looking for. He's looking for a girl that is a fan of him. Um, but yeah, just going over my notes here. Uh, I pretty much said that you know the woman will try to replace the man if they don't view them as the prize or the catch. Um, so I think Jonathan Owens is right. 
and he should continue with that mindset. And I think Simone Biles is really good at following the lead of her man. Uh, you, the woman needs to follow the lead of her man because uh, if it was to be the other way around and he was following her lead and she was uh, making more money and looking better than him and this and that, it reflects badly on her. Her, you know, she, if 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 you know she's struggling to pay for rent, and he's not able to help her pay rent. Her friends, her friends are gonna say, "Why are you with that guy? He doesn't even help you pay the bills." You know, um, you know. Look at your children. Your children are having a hard time. Uh, you guys are having a hard time putting food on the table because he's not he's not doing his thing. He's not he's not you know being the best man for her. Um, and they're going to put those ideas in her head and they're going to say, oh, you can do better. And then she will think she can do better and then she will leave him. So, uh, you know, with that being said, um, I think um, I think Jonathan's right. You, you have to be the catch. You have to be the catch or, or, or um, these women will try and replace you with a man who is the catch. So go for him. Good for him that he uh, figured that out a while ago, um, and he lived that life, and now he's married. He's married to uh, a woman that loves him, loves him dearly, views him as the catch, views him as a prize. Even if she doesn't say it, she she you know she she still thinks that, and that's important, um, you know. And uh, and good for him for bringing that up that he thinks he's the catch because. Um, that's how it has to be, or it's doomed to fail. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, leave your comments. Uh, if you think I'm completely wrong uh, or I missed something, uh, like this video if this makes complete sense. Don't forget to like that video. Click that like button, please. And then, um, and then, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and share the video with someone who you think needs to hear this, okay? Uh, because men are the catch. I agree. I'm right there with you, Jonathan. Keep doing what you're doing. It's working for you, bro. Out. Peace out.